Okay, I want to show you a fun little way of drawing pictures in your book and copying the pictures. Let's go to here and let's pick, oh, I don't want this one. Where's the ghost? Oh, we'll use right here. We'll use the ghost. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that it's easier to see. We're going to turn off our magic button so we can color. I'm going to pick the ink pen because it's a little bit smaller. And I'll pick the medium size line. And I'm going to leave it at black. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. You know how to do that? You take two fingers. You can do two on one hand. Or you can do one finger from both hand. But two fingers and you spread them apart. Touch and spread them apart. Okay, we're going to draw him. We're going to copy on the lines. Whoops, not there. And now that I see how big that line is, I'm going to make it smaller. Okay. I'm going to start here. You can start wherever. I'm going to draw on the line. Maybe you already did this in the other book about shapes, where you copied the shape. Whoops, it's okay if I didn't do it exact. Okay, see I didn't do it right there, that's okay. I'm gonna make his happy smile. I'm going to make this even smaller, a small teeny dot, because I don't want his eyes to look too fat. you got to press easy on the pencil. If you push too hard, see it gets, I'm pushing hard and see how fat it gets. But if I'm easy, it doesn't get fat. Okay, back to our pencil. Now I'm going to color in his eyes, make, it's kind of hard to see black on black here, but just make some circles here like that. Okay, I think that'll work. Now come up here, see this tool right here. It's next to the picture. We don't want the picture, we want this tool right here. It's called the lasso, lasso, lasso tool. I don't know how to say that right. Make sure that all of those three things are turned on, just like this. Now, since I touched that and that's ready to work, I'm going to draw around. Make sure you draw around, not on top of what you colored. And it's okay if you colored on this guy's arm. That's okay. Now with your finger, Push down until those words pop up. And right here is the word copy. C-O-P-Y. We're going to copy that. Press it. Now remember your two fingers? We're going to make it small, 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 small. Pull them together. Now we're going to turn off our magic tools. We're going to go to a different page. Let's go to this one with the blank drawing paper. Okay, now we're going to push on the glass to, ah, oh, the words paste. Did you see that? It said P-A-S-T-E, paste. And there's our ghost. And if you, whoops. See, now we can make him bigger. By this little thing in the corner right there, we can make him bigger. We can turn him around. If you hit the red X, he'll go away. And we don't want him to go away. So we're going to tap out over here somewhere and all the dotted lines went away. And if we want to make another ghost, we can copy him. 
Until you tell the magic pencil to copy something different, it's always going to remember the last thing you did, which was our ghost. So I'm going to push over here. <gasps> See, there's the word paste right there. Paste. And now we got another one. We'll make him a little smaller. Tap. Now I'm going to color him. I'm going to color this one orange. We want a good orange. That should do it. Okay. I'm going to color him orange. I'm going to try to be careful not to color in his eyes. He'd be a funny looking ghost if he had orange eyes, wouldn't he? But maybe you want a funny looking ghost. I'm going to go all around in here like this. I'll show you something special with the pencil as soon as I get done coloring this ghost. It's okay to go over his mouth. If you see, I'm keeping my pencil on the glass the whole time. Color it here. Yeah, right there. Okay. Oh, let's get right up there. Do you see? Oh, I didn't get all. I want to get all those. Everything. Okay, now I lift it up. And now he's all the same color of orange. If I was to color here, I'm not keeping my pencil on the glass. It's all the same color of orange, but when I lift up and I do it again, oh, now it looks funny, doesn't it? Now there's dark orange on top of the light orange because now I put orange on top of orange and it made it darker. So if you want it to always be the same color, you have to keep your pencil on the glass the whole time you're coloring that shape. Okay, I'm going to erase all that because we don't want that. Don't erase my ghost. I'm going to make it smaller. Oops. There we go. Now we see our page again. Now if I want, I'm going to hit that magic button again. That lasso, I can't say that word, lasso tool. We're going to go around. Put a touch on the picture. i got to find the word copy, C-O-P-Y. Right here it is. Copy. Now I can push, and here's paste right there. And I copied my ghost. And I can make him small, I can make him big. That's called copy and paste. And until I tell my pencil to copy something different, it's always going to remember the ghost. We could even copy him on a different page. Whoops, I gotta turn off my tools. We can copy him on one of these pieces of papers if you want. We can go, there we go, paste, and there's our ghost. And you can write oh, we want it bigger than that. I want it there. Where's the lines? I drew, is that how you spell it? This ghost myself. M Y S E L F. Copy and paste.